Hi all, in this video we will see how to define a domain and a context in Odoo 15 development. So let us see why we use Odoo, sorry, why we use this domain and context in Odoo. So what is the difference between them? So here, say inside our custom module, here I have many fields and inside this let us consider an example of uh, say the second language so here you can see inside this model uh, the second language this is a many to one field so inside this model you can see uh, there are various parameters and various fields inside this model so a second language will always be a language right so that's why we have enabled this boolean field as true here. So only those languages which are enabled as language should be listed over here. That should be my condition. So let us see how that is defined in Odoo. So this field's name is sec underscore lang. That is technical name here. So you can see that I have defined that many different field, the model of that main, uh, the object of that field and the string for that field and these are this mandatory field so i have mentioned to create is value true and inside this domain we can mention the field inside this model that is east language is equal to true so only those records which are whose value is true for east language will be listed there otherwise all the records will be listed so here you can see that currently English is getting listed. Suppose if I disable this field, then when I refresh this, or say let us create a new record, create. Here you can see no languages are getting listed here, even though we have that language already saved in Odoo. That is a Suppose I create new one. Currently, English language does not have that boolean field checked as true. That's why it's not showing here. And also, when you hover this uh, in the development mode, you can see the domain is language is equal to true. Only those records satisfying that condition will be listed here. So, suppose I create a new language here, Hindi, and I mark the language as true. Then you can see. Hindi will be listed here. So this is how we create and add a domain to a field in Odoo. Now let us see an example of uh, the uh, context in Odoo. So here inside the here you can see the smart button for viewing the documents and only the documents which are mapped to this particular record must be listed here. So for that, we mention the document uh, inside the function that is the document view. We while returning, we can mention a context here. Context so that the uh, test model is education or documents inside which all the documents will be stored and that model contains a field called application ref so when we pass a prefix a predefined prefix called default underscore the field name then that field name when we open that uh, model by default that field name will store the value which we give here suppose here uh, inside this model we application ref that's there is a field called application ref and i set the value of that field while opening this or returning the view as the id of uh, uh, application education dot applications id then when i run this you can see only those records whose value or the id or just or those records which map this record will be uh, short the right suppose if we don't mention this the whole records will be listed there 
so for such cases so for setting a default value into a field while opening or returning a specific uh, function we can use this context here too we can see that uh, domain can be passed with the same condition so this is how we mentioned uh, we defined domain and uh, context in Odoo 15 so for mock info you can contact info at cybersys.com Thank you.